everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life yeah i'm looking a mess i just got off of work i'm tired i need to <sighs> i had to push through to get this video out and i need to get this video out because this is the last paycheck of january and i do not want to be late on my videos i have made a commitment to be intentional in everything that i do and that's including my channel so here i am if you're wondering about this wig, child, I done had this wig on for about a week now. Um, this is a custom made wig. It's a kinky straight and it's from The Angel Wigs. Um, I love her wigs. Um, I think this is 26, 22 or 26 inches, but it's really long and it's really full. Like, it's a lot of hair. So, it curls really good. It holds a curl real good. It's just really good hair. But, enough about that. So, we're going to do our last paycheck of January. We're going to do our budget close out. And we're just going to recap on different savings and everything in this video. So, let's get started. So, if you see me look over here, that is because I'm looking at my notes. You'll see it on the screen, but I have to look at it over here. Um, I'll try to push this in front of me so I can see it. We'll see how that goes. Let's see. Okay, so for January, our paycheck uh, totaled up to paycheck of January, and I should have been on the second paycheck of January. <laughs> okay, so our first uh, and our second bi-weekly paycheck for January, the paycheck totaled up to $1,670, and that's me and hubby putting, on, putting in on the bills. If you guys don't know, this is a household where... We don't do 50-50. We just do what needs to be done. Um, so we both take care of these bills. And we put in for the amount of the bills every month. That is just what we do. He has his personal checking and savings. I have my personal checking and savings. And together we have a joint um, retirement fund. And a joint, um, joint um, household spending account. And a joint um, bills account. So... Like I said, the paycheck, the paycheck all together um, for what we put in was $1,670. The expenses were $1,106. Um, savings was $564. Left over is zero. So when I say paycheck, that means my paycheck plus what he put in for the bills. Um, so, yeah. So, for the rent, we already paid our January rent. We're going into February. Our February's both. Our, our first paychecks in February, February are after the first. And I don't believe in paying our rent late if we don't have to. Unless it's an emergency, honey. And if it ain't an emergency, this rent going to be paid on time before time. Matter of fact, we just paid February's rent two days. So, we ain't got to worry about February's rent. But, um... We put $238 up for February's rent. Um, after pay was $100. Capital One was $25. Capital One Silver was $25. Capital One Savoy was $25. Mission Lane was $80. Apple products was $50. I always put $50 in my Apple products. I put it in there every, every month. Sometimes I may do it twice a month. And that's just because I have YouTube coming out of my Apple Pay. I have my Apple me and my husband's apple watch is coming out out of my apple pay i have canva coming out of my apple pay i have um anything any type of subscriptions that i have it comes from that apple pay so i always put at least fifty dollars every two weeks or fifty dollars every month so it all depends on what the month's looking like for myself because this was my birthday month i had 423 dollars from this paycheck for a vacation i put fifty dollars up Household, I put additional $50 up and cable was $70. Now, our expenses, as you can see, totaled up to $1,106. We were able to save $564 and we're going to get into what I have saved so far since we've started saving. So hold on. Let me get that information for you. So let's start with our credit card breakdown. Our credit card breakdown, um, 
last month was for Capital One was one twenty five oh four. This month it was ninety seven eighty seven because we paid twenty five on it. I think we might have paid a little more than twenty five actually, but we paid twenty five on that for sure. Our Capital One Silver was fifty nine fifty five, but we went and I used it for something, so it's at one forty eighty three. We're gonna get that paid off really soon because I'm tired of paying credit card bills. Um, then we have the Capital One Savoir. That's two hundred and eighty dollars and eighty two cent. We paid on that for this month of January and it totaled up to $223.36. Mission Lane, I used Mission Lane for something I shouldn't have, but I did. Um, so Mission Lane last month was $490.43. It actually went up to $556.69. So we're gonna try to get these numbers down. I'm starting to pay more on these credit cards on the lower um on the lower amount credit cards just to get them over and done with our next thing we're going to get into is let's see our i'm waiting for it to pull up our bi-weekly personal savings tracker so you know this is the beginning of january so we started over on our saving challenges so on this savings challenge january the 12th i put up 100 january the 23rd i put up 100 and then for the rainy day, that was for my personal um, savings tracker. For the rainy day fund, I put up a hundred um, dollars on the. I'm trying to get it to pull up on the twelfth, and then I put a um, hundred dollars up on the twenty third. Okay, guys, real quick, I had to go in and fix that, but yeah, the personal is hundred and fifty dollars every two weeks. Just because I am trying, I'm got, I have some goals, personal goals that I'm trying to set for myself that I need to accomplish. So I put a little more in that account than I would any other account. Um, like I said, for the rainy day, we're putting in a hundred. We did max that out at a thousand at first. We did reach our first thousand, but some things transpired and we needed to go into that account. So we did. Um, let's see the January close out. Let's get into that. So for our household savings, every two weeks we have um, $50 going into the household. And that's for like cleaning supplies, um, any personal items we may need or anything like that. Well, we have used used that fund this month and we have zero, going, zero balance um, in the household fund. Rainy day fund, we were able to save $513.18. Christmas fund, so far we've saved $200. Personal savings, we've saved $1,397. No rollover money this month. Debt paid off for this month has been $364. It may have um, been a little more, but according to my... Um, Every dollar it said 364, so I'm gonna go with that number. Um, I do honestly feel like it was way more, but I don't have any way to uh <laughs> keep up with that. But every dollar, so I'm hoping every dollar is correct for our fives and ones challenge. We haven't saved anything except seven dollars, and I think that's 24 cent. I will no seven dollars and 76 cent. At the end of this week, I will see what the remaining balance is in there. And whatever odd numbers or fives or ones we have, I will transfer it to um, personal savings. Let's see what else I can tell you guys about to-do list. As you guys know, I have a to-do list of things that I'm trying to get for this household and finish for this household. As you guys know, my children bought me my chairs for my office for my birthday. So I didn't have to spend money on that. I bought two shelving units for my office just because I needed a little more room. With the futon and the end table in here, it was just too crowded. This gives me a lot more space, especially the way I have now um, organized this room. It's more space. So yeah, we took that off the list. As you guys know, we, we got the TV 
Um, we got the rug for the living room. I finally got the bedroom rug, but I'm a little disappointed in the bedroom rug just because it wasn't the rug that I meant to buy. I don't like those fluffy rugs because when you try to sweep them and stuff or vacuum them, the stuff doesn't come up all the way and it takes forever to get it out. So I messed up and got that rug, but I paid $149 for that rug. So we're going to keep it till we can't keep it anymore and we're going to work with it the best way we can. Um, I'm, I'm doing the downstairs bathroom right now and the wallpaper is the same color as the office, which is this black. It's like this matte black with, um, with this like shiny detail going throughout the wallpaper. Same color as my office. We decided to do that for the bathroom. So I did order a roll of wallpaper for that today because I, I, I had already started Hopefully that wallpaper is all that I need because I have an idea in my mind of how I'm going to finish this bathroom. So hopefully I just need that roll of wallpaper and what I have in my closet for the brick um, look will suffice for that. Um, so I will be, that, that is a project that I will be working on this weekend. I have a lot of things to do this weekend. I need to write them down so I will not forget them. Um, let's see. Um, I still, we still are looking for a dining room table. Haven't decided on a dining room table yet. Um, I know the color scheme I want to go to just because our downstairs area is like a darkish charcoalish gray and like a turquoise blue. It's really pretty. Um, so it's like turquoise gray, black, white, and blue. And you probably like, how do all those colors combine? If you see my rug, then you'll know how um silverware we need to get more silverware pillows we need to buy more pillows a bath rug we need another we need another bath rug i was going to get another shower curtain but i'm like if it's not broke don't fix it i have shower curtains i want to utilize what i have for right now and our shower curtain is black and white so i need to find some black rugs um let's see suitcases Suitcases are not as important right now just because we do not have any upcoming trips. We do have one suitcase and I think a duffel bag. So we don't really just have to have a suitcase right now because we're not taking any trips as far as I know for this year. We're, we don't have any trips coming up till next year. So that is not one of those things that I just have to take care of right away i have time to take care of that so yeah let me see i think that's everything guys i think we done pretty much went over everything let me see paycheck budget breakdown savings yeah we pretty much went through everything um this week we didn't save as much as i would have wanted to save um just because it was like i said it was my birthday month um, I am doing some things for hubby's birthday, but the way I'm planning it, it should not affect what I am trying to save. I should still be able to save what I need to save with a little sacrifice as far as my spending money, just so I can make sure his birthday is great. But, um, I feel like January was the, um, pre-start. Like, that was, um... <laughs> <laughs> that was the pre-trial of me trying to see what this year was going to look like and for the most part i did save i might not have if i as i look over my january's budget quick peek i did not save the 600 i wanted to save but i did save 500 and 500 dollars and some change i wish i would have saved the 600 but i didn't I am okay with it. Um, it is okay. Like I said, it was my birthday month. February is crunch time. February is a little more intense because we'll not be eating out at all. Like that is the month we're not eating out at all. Because what we're doing is we're changing, trying to change our eating habits for that month. So the food that we're going to be eating we can pretty much make it at home. We don't have to go out to eat that. And I don't want to go out to eat and then deter from our plan. And it'll be a lot more being in the house because we're not spending any money for the month of February. I know, I, I know, I know. 
I said I wasn't going to do no no buys this year. But it's necessary. I have some things that I'm trying to accomplish. Um, and that's just for February. I don't know what March is going to look like. I just know February, we're doing no buys for February. So we're not going to be shopping or anything like that unless it's stuff that the household needs. And I pretty much am stocked up on things that the household needs. I need to get a few other cleaning supplies items. And I'll get that in the next paycheck. But for the most part, we're not doing anything. We're going to be eating healthy, working out, stacking our money for the month of February. And that is going to be hard for me because sometimes when I'm at work, I, it's just easier to just order some food and call it a day. But I am dedicated to doing what I need to do to get the results that I want to have. So I have to make this happen. Plus, I'm in this challenge with my co-workers and I have to win this challenge. There is... um. I think there is $300 on the line and I want my money. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. That is our January last paycheck of the month. We're going to get ready to go into February. I don't know about you guys, but I have some financial goals that I'm trying to accomplish in February. I have some health goals that I'm trying to accomplish in February. And I just have some things, um, some just, just some lifestyle changes that I want to make for February all around so i don't know what you guys plans are for february but i will be taking you guys along on that journey um just to hold myself accountable like my husband gonna hold me accountable regardless but i want you to i want you guys to see that it can be done so we're gonna next um probably next week once we get february's paycheck or i know what it's looking like we're gonna go over that paycheck we're gonna go over what the plans are for february we're going to go over all those great things so we'll know what direction we're wanting to go in, what those goals are for February, and all that jazz. So I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning it all out. And I am Key, and this is Key's Plan Life. Talk to you later. Bye.